20 years ago today, as two towers fell and a nation began to mourn nearly 3,000 lives lost, terrorists also changed the course of countless American lives, in particular, those of service members, military families, and so many others. I want to honor those that we lost on that tragic day, as well as all the sacrifices of our military men and women that we've sent to Afghanistan in the now two decades since. Heroes who deployed on one, two, three, four, even more tours. Heroes, some of whom weren't even born yet when those towers fell, who signed up to serve simply because they believed in our nation and the need to serve her whenever and wherever the call came, no matter the personal risk. Today, I reflect on the bravery and heroism shown by the first responders who ran into danger as others ran away, especially those who never made it home to their families and those who later succumbed to the illnesses caused by the actions, their actions that day. We will never forget them or any of the victims and our hearts are with their families and their loved ones today and always. In this moment, we must each remember how our nation came together after these heinous attacks, how we worked hard together to rebuild and recover, and how we united regardless of partisan labels. How neighbors who rarely previously spoke reach out to one another to lend a hand as well as to collectively grieve. How strangers became confidants and friends as we all mourn and try to heal. Here's what I know. The American people are resilient and it is our ability to help one another through through our service to others that best honors the memory of those that we lost on 9-11. So in the days ahead, even as many may seek to divide us, I will honor the ones who we lost on 9-11 and in Afghanistan by reclaiming that sense of shared purpose, recommitting ourselves to helping our fellow Americans. Whether that's by thanking a COVID-19 first responder who put their own health at risk to keep our nation running or by reaching out to our veterans. That's how I'm going, going to commemorate this summer anniversary. I hope you'll join me. Thank you.